Different player now, Kevin. We'll move on. Um, but other than grabbing burst stuff, I think you're right. I don't quite know how it's going to transpire. I think there's still something to be done between now and the end of the window, potentially there. We'll see what happens. Um, yeah, the player you are very much going to take the lead on here because I haven't seen anything of this footballer, quite frankly. Um, Piero Incapié, I think I'm right in saying. Um, currently out injured, I believe, but 21-year-old Ecuador international. What was interesting, he's got 27 caps already at 21. That is a loss, like a hell of a lot. Uh, left-footed defender, of course. He made 76 appearances for Bayer Leverkusen. And just as a note, 32 as a left-back and 36 as a centre-back, according to transfer mark. So tell us about him. Impressive? Yeah, I like him. Still raw, still learning the game. Um, he's had games where he's made mistakes. He's been sent off. He's given away pens. He's been out of position, all that stuff. But you have to do that because you have to learn on the job. And... That's what Bayer Leverkusen do with their players. Interestingly, they decided to sign him before they met him because of his performances um, in South America. They were so impressed with what he'd done that they went, we better move for him before somebody else does. And so it's quite rare for Bayer to do that. They're quite careful a lot of the time. But they actually took him on spec. And it was the right thing to do because... He's played a lot of games for them already. He's aggressive. Um, he's brave. He's decent on the ball. And I, I think he's a player that I think could cope with the physicality of the Premier League. I don't think that would be a problem. My my only issue with him, and he's been linked with Premier League clubs for 18 months. My only issue with him is I feel he needs to play. I, I feel what wouldn't be good for him is bringing him in and he gets a game every three weeks or something like that. I feel like that would really stunt his development. So Liverpool, I think I've got to be very careful about if they were to move for him, and obviously it's just links at the moment, yeah. but if they were to move for him, I do think they'd have to be a little bit careful about just making sure he had enough games. And I know we're in the Europa League this season, so I get that. That's obviously going to be a lot of games. You know, you guaranteed six group games there. Um, there's there's League Cup, there's FA Cup. But you'd want him as part of the rotation, I think, because obviously Virgil van Dijk and Konate are the, are the primary pair, and they should be. Yeah. So it's about bringing him in, but also giving him enough game time to develop. So there's definitely talent there. It's just how you use him. Yeah, that's it. And I think you're right. I mean, we are looking at that type of profile in terms of his age is perfect for it, actually, in terms of the fact that you might not necessarily need him to be the very first choice right now, but you do need to add him to the rotation 100%. And just on his position, I mentioned there, he's pretty much an even split between left-back and centre-back. What do you see him as? And has there been a change since Xavier Alonso took over at Leverkusen? Does he use him primarily as one or the other? Yeah, there has been a bit of a change, and he has played a bit more uh, as a fullback. I, I like, I personally, I don't think he's, I don't think he's mega amazing on the ball. I think he's good on the ball. I, I see him as as a centre back. Really, I think that toughness and that aggression is best served as a centre back. And I think, obviously, as I say, he's learning that position and he's learning where to be and he's learning when to dive into challenges and when not. But the the talent is absolutely there. He's, he's good on the ball. I don't want to make out he's not because he is. But whether he'd get you a touch, he, he wouldn't be a Robertson type, for example. So I don't think he'd be appropriate for the way Liverpool use their fullbacks, personally. I, I don't see him as that at all. I, I think he's very much a left-sided centre-back. Um, going forward. So that that's how I would think Liverpool would look to use him. Well, that's it. And that's kind of... It's, it's fascinating at the moment for Liverpool because it's hard to know. You can't really pigeonhole players because it's not entirely clear what system we are playing. There's times in games where by Trent goes into midfield and Robbo does become a very much a third left-sided centre-back. But then also in games, we are a 4-3-3 and Robbo's bombing up the wing and as is Trent. So it's difficult right now. But I think if we do want to proceed with Trent popping into midfield and making the box, then that's when Robbo's 
ability to play as a left-sided centre-back. I don't want to do him too much of a disservice comes into question because he's he's a brilliant left-back. There's no two ways about that. Yeah. But is he a brilliant centre-back? I'm not 100% certain. That's why people like him, Levi Colwell beforehand, have come into the equation. These links are happening. Um, you mentioned there, Kevin, that you can see the talent and you can absolutely see why he's being talked about, I guess. He's very young, he's very raw still, of course. But I suppose in terms of the links and the reports, you mentioned there's been a few clubs linked to him already. Is it obvious to see why? And, you know, absolutely no disrespect to Leverkusen, the giants of a football club themselves in Europa League football, made great strides under Xavi Alonso. Can you see why Liverpool and others are being linked to him? Oh, yeah. I, I think... Look, that's the reality of of the football world now, that any player that's doing well in the Bundesliga is going to be automatically linked to the Premier League. That's a well-worn path now. And, you know, Leverkusen are prepared for that. Diaby's gone to Villa, done very well. I thought he would. Um, And Tapsoba's been linked with Premier League clubs. You know, that's just going to happen. Frimpong's been linked with Premier League clubs. So Leverkusen, I think, are prepared for that. I think that's a natural step when mm. he decides to make that move. But I do think it's all about his development. He's got to decide, am I better off being on a bench somewhere, competing for a first-team place, or am I better getting regular first-team football at a club that is going to be pushing for the Champions League? So I, I can absolutely see where the links come from. Um, same with Mickey van der Ven when we spoke about him I could understand that I can understand why Tottenham took him so yeah if Liverpool made the move you wouldn't think well this is weird why have they done this it, it makes sense it's just whether they'll actually do it or not yeah absolutely I think Florian Wurz is probably the most talked about one from Leverkusen who's yet to make that move yet. I think injuries have kind of impacted his um, absolutely rapid progression yeah he, w- he won't go until after the Euros I would expect a scramble for him after okay. the Euros. I think he's his father's very influential with his career and he's made it quite clear that Florian needs a full season oh, good. of games, no upheaval, because he wants to play for Germany in the Euros. It's yeah. a home Euros, it's a massive opportunity. Yeah. I would be very, very surprised, unless City makes some ridiculous bid. I'd be very, very surprised if he had went anywhere this summer or in January. That's actually some sensible thinking from some people around football, as you don't get that Imagine very often. That. I know, that's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Um, but yeah, you are right with the City. I think they were linked after the, the Paqueta stuff kind of hit the railroads um, the other day. But yeah, Wurz is a supreme talent, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him on the move at some point in the future. Speaking of... Um, sort of ill advice to footballers. I actually think Incapia has got the same agent as Moises Caicedo, um, obviously both Ecuadorian, so that could be a stumbling block on that move. But just to finish on him, I will ask you one more question. You've kind of alluded to the fact he's still very raw, he's very young still, he's got to develop. You've also said that Liverpool would be a, making a good move if he, if they did sign him because he sounds a footballer. Is it more a case of you are investing in the future as opposed to the here and now with him in terms of like how high is his ceiling? You know, how how highly do you rate him? How good can this player be? Yeah, I do like him. I do like him. I, I don't mind the fact that he's made mistakes in games. Mm-hmm. I like the fact that he's played a lot of football internationally and at club level. You know, he's played in European competition. He's played a lot for Ecuador, as you say. I think... You know, every every transfer is a gamble. Every transfer is a risk. You have players you sign who you think, are oh, they going to be great? And then it, they have injuries or they don't play or they have something in their personal life. You, you never know. But I, I, I like him and I can completely understand why clubs like Liverpool and other clubs before have been linked with him because there's definite talent there. There's mentality, aggression. So... Yeah, if Liverpool bought him, I think that would make sense. And I think there are a lot of clubs, a lot of top clubs 
They were keeping an eye on him, definitely. Hey, thank you so much for watching the show. You're amazing. And if you want to signify your legendary status, then head over to redmenplus.com. Join as a legend tier subscriber. Not only you get all of the great video and podcast content, you'll also be entered into our monthly prize draw for great signed Liverpool gear. And you'll get access to our Discord as well, full of amazing Liverpool support and human beings. Head to redmenplus.com and join as a legend tier today.